Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So this is all kind of the start of spring. I was working on loading Bubbly into the trailer. She's really good at loading in trailers when she has friends, not so much on her own. But yeah, this video is going to be a bit of a scary, exciting, short and sweet one because I don't have a ton of video of the actual cross-country schooling because of COVID. There was only a limited amount of people allowed on the property. Um, so I didn't really have many people to video. But yeah, so she was doing really well getting in on the trailer. Um, I was pretty happy with her. I had to put these paddings on the window bars um, because she actually had a bit of an issue when we brought her home from the vet after her colic in December and was shoving her nose through the bars and put took all of the skin off either side of her lips just because she dislikes being in the trailer by herself that much. So I did that um, to prepare to go to our first off-site schooling of the year. She also got brand new Duplo plastic shoes. I use plastic shoes on her just because they mold and move with the feet a lot better. Um, and if you watched my the avulsion fracture video from a while back i will link it um you will know that we have had hoof issues before and bubbly actually fractured her navicular because of how bad her hoof angles were so i do everything to kind of get them to the point where they're still able to move normally and grow and give her all of that uh soul stimulation to build up her digital cushion and all that fun things that come with hoof care for a horse that does not have the best feet. Um, so anyways, a few days before we were trailering out, Bubbly actually choked. It was my first experience with choke. And it was super scary. Um, she was taking a treat and then she freaked out and spooked at something. And all of a sudden she was choking. She had um, goop running out of her mouth. So I called my coach and I let it be for about 15 minutes. It did get much better after 10 or 15 minutes. There was still just these little movements left still after the fact. Um, I watched her pretty much <laughs> most of the night though. Um, I didn't let her have food for a little while, for quite a while. I did eventually feed her. First thing I fed her though was like very, very, very wet, mushy, um, soaked Timothy alfalfa cubes. And yeah, I was so happy it cleared up on her own because our first trip away in the trailer would have been to the vet two and a half hours away instead of cross-country schooling. But very thankful she came through. Um, if anyone has never seen Choke before, that's what it looks like. And it's not fun. Look who got into the trailer, fine with her friend. <laughs> Two chestnuts in the trailer. So bubbly was quite exuberant. As you can see, it's actually hailing. It was sunny, but it was hailing. Uh, this was back in, I believe, March of 2021. And our weathers were just, our weather was just starting to change. Bubbles was being very excitable. So I chose to circle after that log because she was running away with me. And I try to just put my leg on, work on everything we did last time, bring her back to a collected under control canter but she was very excited and having a time um, as you can see here and that made for a really great still for a photo <laughs> she was very um donkey like on this trip so yeah not a ton of jumping videos but i was very proud of how she came out she was a little bit better than the last time we came here which we also came the year before for the first little jumping school of the season. Um, she does, you know, we're able to string a couple jumps together. She does better, but yeah, she's still a bit crazy. I think this might have just been the first clip at a different angle, um, a better angle of the jump, which was good. So yes, she was not as great as I would have liked, but for our first time out, I really, I can't complain. And then we finished off with this last little jump and finished on a really great note.
So for how the week started with her choking and everything, I wasn't even sure if I was going to be able to go um, schooling. And the fact that I was was a win in itself. So even though she had a few hairy moments, it was all good. I didn't fall off. We got quite a bit accomplished and it was a whole lot of fun. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, if you are liking my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.